started here. Round one is underway. And we've got a striker who is forced to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in UFC. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Beautiful punch. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. Just out of the range with that right hand. I mean, that right hand landed square. Ooh, what a punch. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Two minutes to go in the round. Boy, time's up. Oh, huge knee to the head. He could be in trouble here. Oh, big shot land. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. And he landed the right hand there. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Wow. And potentially a critical takedown here. In a very close round, a takedown like that might be the difference. Excellent work with those strikes. Combinations with the gym are perfect. Back All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes you got to deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Big kick. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And they separate. Ooh, blocks the shot. 
Straight right, he misses. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that open. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break him? Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. All right, half guard. Now, not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the face, let it slip into an underhook, build up to your elbow, then go chase your single leg. This is high-level grappling, John, from a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt named Daniel Cormier. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight, and we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? He's gotta be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Back and forth we go. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, and he gets the takedown. Useful. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, useful strike on the ground that was. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Single collar tie now. Great punch landing with so much power. Uppercut attempt nearly connects, but no good. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Just misses with the straight right. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, 
He's also keeping very busy. Big ball just punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt, DC. Not a great one. Might as well tell your opponent you're shooting, huh? Yeah, he's your best friend. Tell him that you want to take him to his back and watch him defend and then beat you up with the fight stand. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be Ready? more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You've got to think it's something with the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Way to hide that leg kick. Big punch man over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, collar tie. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Back to his feet. Look at him drive his shin into the corner body with that body kick. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eights. Elbow there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice. Visibly limping here. Straight right hand, no good. Real quick leg kick. Blocks that strike. All right, single collar tie now. Missed with that right hand. defense on the single leg attempt there. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Vicious combo there. Puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. This round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Nice loop and bunch. Circling towards the left now. 
Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Now goes in and he secures the takedown. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Nice hammer fist. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get it. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he goes for home. Playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh oh. Throwing up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's going to get stuck and he will have to submit. Oh, nice job to get back up again. You don't want to hang out on the ground with this guy. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. 20 seconds now remain in the round. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Double look shot. Oh, massive slam. That'll change the complexion of this one. All right, so the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. The official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, the Korean Super Bowl, Duho Chong. All right, nice job by him there as he is.